In Creo Parametric 6.0, the merge walls command in sheet metal mode got an upgrade to the modern interface. I'll be honest, I can't remember the last time I had to use the merge walls command because by default, when you create walls that are tangent to existing geometry, Creo Parametric will merge the walls anyway. And I don't even think the, the command is taught in the standard PTC training classes. But anyhow, I'm going to show you what that looks like in Creo Parametric 5.0. If you take a look down at the bottom of the screen, you can see that there is an indication that we have three distinct pieces of geometry in this model. I created this sheet metal part using skeleton geometry, then I offset a wall. And when I create the other two offset walls, I'm going to edit definition real quick. I had to go to the options tab and choose do not merge to model to force this to be a distinct piece of geometry. But let's say that I, for some reason, ended up with distinct geometry, distinct pieces in Creo Parametric 5.0. If I wanted to merge these together, I would go to the editing drop down and then merge and merge walls. And holy cow, look at this. This is the old model dialog box, which was the standard in Pro Engineer 2001 and earlier. That shows how low a priority it was to fix this because again, you rarely have to use this. But anyhow, in the menu manager, we're being prompted that we need to select the surfaces that the unattached walls will be attached to. Select the surface, then OK out of the old get select menu and then done refs. Now we're on to the next element in the model dialog box, merge geoms, and we are supposed to select the surfaces that will be merged to the base surface. So I will select this one over here, hold down the control key, select that surface. Okay, done refs. And now we could choose from the action buttons. Okay, we have our wall ID 1175 created. And down at the bottom of the screen, just indicates that we have a continuous piece of sheet metal geometry. So again, that's what it looks like in Creo Parametric 5.0. Now let's switch over to Creo Parametric 6.0. Now I have the part open in Creo Parametric 6.0. You can see the copy geometry feature just to show you how to create geometry in sheet metal mode based off of a skeleton. I'm going to use the offset command and query select to this quilt and I'll use the default thickness there we see how the geometry is being added and one reason I might do this in multiple steps is if I want to have different values for the bends on the sharp edges again one of the nice things I like about the offset command when you're using it with copy geometry features so create that first one over there now let's create another offset wall and I'll query select to this other quilt and it's using the same thickness. You'll see that there's no value inside of here. And for the bends to sharp edges, let me choose something big enough for you to see value of 0.5. Again, by default, it's going to merge it to the model, which makes the merge walls command unnecessary, but let's force the issue. I'm going to not merge it. And again, now we can see that we have two distinct pieces. Repeat that one more time very quickly. Do not merge to model. Hit the check mark. All right, now we have three distinct pieces. Let me left click on the copy geometry feature and from the mini toolbar, I will hide it. And again, to make this one continuous feature, let's go to the editing overflow menu merge and merge walls and I'm going to open up the references tab just to show you that you have your basic references and your merge geometries so I will select my basic references then you can cl click in the collectors either on the references tab or on the dashboard or you can right mouse click and hold and from the menu choose merge geometries and select the tangent surfaces you can see the preview grid that's showing up on the surfaces to show what will be merged and there is an options tab where you could select edges to exclude if you needed to or keep the merged edges but this is good i will hit the check mark 
And there we have our merge walls feature in the model, one continuous piece of geometry. So again, Creo Parametric 6.0, that merge walls command is updated to the modern interface. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something in this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.